Okay guys, we're back. Another tutorial brought to you by Rib. Back with a bit of Red Dead Redemption 2, but this time I'm going to show you how to set up a Red Dead server. Obviously, the timing is very early in development. It's all in alpha. Things will break, things methods will change. I mean, this is how you set up a server right now, but it's not saying that in a couple of weeks it'll be totally different. It possibly will be, but you know, I'll keep us updated with the uh, new set of videos. Right, first things first. There are a couple of things you're going to need. But we're going to dive straight into it. What we're going to do, I'm going to do it unedited. So if there's any mistakes, then so be it. So let's create a new folder on your desktop. And we're going to call this Red uh, Red M3. It doesn't matter what you call it. I've called mine Red M3 because I've already got a couple of test servers on the go. Right, now we need the artifacts. They've just been, well, they've been released not long ago over on their Discord. The Discord for the Red Den, Red Dead will be linked below. And as you can see, there's a lot of information here which you can follow. There is instructions how to do it, I'm just going to take you through it visually because it's a lot easier. Right, so it doesn't help when you've got a different resolution to your server. Let me just get my OBS, make sure we're not... Yep, we're good. Right, so let's put this paste, this link in here, and these, this is the artifacts, these are the files you need to run a Red Dead Redemption 2 server. So let's get them downloaded. You are going to need a WinRAR or WinZip to open up these, what I like to call briefcases. You do need WinRAR, I use WinRAR. It's, it's free, simple and easy. I suggest you get that one. Let's go to our downloads. Okay, um, all the same. So let's just start fresh. So this is what we just downloaded, the artifact. Uh, let's copy this straight away. And let's go into our Red M3. And let's paste it here. And when you've got WinRAR, WinZip installed, you can right click and go to Extract here. And as you can see, it's extracting lovely jubbly. Let it finish its list. There we go. Let's remember to delete the .raw folder. We don't want that in there. Thank you, please. Okay, next up, we're going to need a folder in here. We're going to need to create this folder, and it's going to be called server-data. So let's create a folder called server-line-data. Okay, sorted. Inside here is where we're going to put our server CFG and the resources that we're going to need. First of all, we're going to go and download these resources, so we can get these just from the 5M website. So go across to the 5M website, download server, and if we scroll down a touch, you will see we've got the artifacts, but this for, for Red, Dem, Red Dead, we need these here from the GitHub, updated eight hours ago, lovely jubbly, fresh as a daisy. Get them downloaded, and they're downloaded. Back to the download folder. So this is the one, same again, right click, extract here, and we have inside here a resources folder, which we're gonna right click, and we're gonna copy. Head back down to our Red M3 folder, whatever you call yours, it doesn't matter what you call it. Go into your server data and paste it in here. Happy days, so inside there you've got your resources. Obviously, there's no database connected, there's, there's no extra resources added at the minute. This is just how to set up a fresh, brand new Red Dead Redemption 2 server and how to join it. Uh, all the extra scripts, resources will be added in the future as they get released or as we work on them. Okay, so let's go back. We've got the resources folder. Now we're going to need a server CFG. It does show you on the, on the website of 5M how to create the server CFG. It's an absolute nightmare having a different resolution. I should fix that. Let's go back up and let's go to 5M website once again. 5M, and we go back down to the download server server files, etc. And if you scroll right down, it does show you here. So if you highlighted all this, uh, copied it, and pasted it into a new text document and saved it as a server.cfg, but I've already got one made, so I might as well go and grab it. I'll make sure I do take you through any changes that you do need to make on it. So let's go to server, server data, server CFG. So let's put mine in my server data folder paste it there so like I say create and if you haven't got one new text document then go to the 5M website copy the CF server CFG across and save it as a server.cfg right inside the server CFG there's a couple of things you're going to need to change um, scrolling down you'll have here you will have around six resources where it will say ensure uh, 5M for instance unsure sorry 5M for instance and about there's about six of them get rid of them all or you will be starting a 5M server and type in stop session manager or one word and stop web admin or one word. Okay, further down, do 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 do. This is where you'll change your logo for your server, the the server name for the banners. And scroll down, right down the bottom. You need your license key. You need to put your license key in there. Happy bloody days. Okay, I don't think there was anything else I needed to change in there just yet. Hopefully not. Right, the next thing we need 
we need a server.bat, well, start server.bat so we can start the server up. It's exactly what it says on the tin. So what you can do is create a new, I've already got one made, I'll take you through it afterwards, let me go find that one. No, it's already here. So create a new text document, and in the text document you're going to want to put this little command here, but let's go, it does show you on the, the same again, it does show you on the 5M website, all the information is out there, there guys what to put in this server.bat so if I scroll down a touch and there it is however ours is a little different let's go across so change directory directory uh, C drive red M this is where my and this time it's called red M3 so let's change that so this is my server data folder so that's taking it to so let's go to actually it's oh, bloody hell let's minimize this let's get the folder actually over there okay let's go back into that go back up absolute nightmare okay so red m3 so I say that is that folder there so that's the exact location you can copy the address if you go into it and copy address um, and then we've got the red m3 again but this time it's a little different you've got the plus exec server.cfg but we've got plus set game name rdr3 that is a must it must be like that or it won't work okay we can save this red m3 down 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 uh, we've got all the latest artifacts we've got our server CFG in the server data we don't need to do a log or anything yet we've got our resources we should touch wood be able to start this up so let's go to so, oh, start it from outside of the folder so there's our folder one m3 and there's our start server open them up here we go happy days happy days that's what we like to see lovely jubbly okay right it did say uh, the nucleus authentication I won't worry about that I'm not too sure about it I just know it still works with it saying that yours probably says the same because I don't think there's anything I've missed here so this should be working I should be able to join it so let's go and check so let's go to my red red M if you haven't got red M installed I have got a previous video showing you how to install red M and set it up so go check that one out and hopefully we'll be able to go and join this server with a bit of luck like I say this is the start of Red Dead Redemption 2 st servers it's the very very start it's only just been released like within the last week or two or couple of weeks so yeah expect uh, a lot of changes and here is this is the client and there's our server so say nation but like I say we haven't changed our logo so don't worry as long as we can connect here which we can there we go sweet so it's working let's see if it actually lets us spawn on and like I say at the minute there isn't many resources out there there's no scripts nothing out there it's all a begin it's the brand new begin this is the beginning boys so yeah there's no no database hooked up anything like that it should literally just spawn us in with a bit of luck oh, so far so good red and pre-release and i don't know why it's got my email up there it must just be a red dead thing for now but this is how to set up the beginning the very first red dead redemption 2 servers to, yeah to, to make it of it something you know it's in a few months time I'm sure it's gonna be something pretty special and we're, we're on happy bloody days so literally this is ready to rock and roll this is online now you could join it hell yeah nice to meet you there buddy my name is Boba J I have tidied myself up so I hope that helps guys like I say, it is the beginning. There's not many scripts out there at the minute. There will be. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. Like and subscribe for more Red Dead or more Devin over on 5M or Red Dead and just more Devin in general. I'll keep it coming. I will provide my Red M3 server folder so you can go ahead and just set one straight up. Or you'd have to. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the Red M3 and the start server file. Make sure you put them in your C drive. Run this and you should be Gucci. Until next time, boys, like, subscribe, peace out, stay gooch, take care.